My name is Stephanie Flack. I've been with the Nature Conservancy for 15 years and I work on the Potomac River. The Potomac Gorge, where we are right now, the 15 mile river corridor from Great Falls down to Georgetown, is one of the most biologically rich areas of the eastern United States. This area is kind of a crossroads. We have species from the north and the south and the east and the west kind of all coming together. And it's a tremendous diversity of life, as well as a lot of rare species and communities kind of packed together in a very small area. The Potomac is really an important area for the quality of life in our region, and it's important for our drinking water. Most of the people who live in the Washington metro region get their water from the Potomac River. The Potomac is also really an important area for just our quality of life as a recreational retreat. It's, it's such a beautiful place where we are, and it's a refuge and a, an oasis for a lot of the urban dwellers of this very densely developed and populated region to get away and kind of reconnect with nature and, and enjoy the beauty and the tranquility of a spot like this. The Potomac River and the Susquehanna River, the big river system to the north of us here, contribute 70% of the freshwater flows to the Chesapeake Bay. These areas are also really important because there's a two-way flow of materials. There's also migratory species like shad, uh, sturgeon, that divide their life cycle. They spend some of their time in the ocean, some of their time in the Chesapeake Bay, and some of their time up in these freshwater systems, and they come up to spawn. So there's important movement of, of both water and energy and organic materials and life between the rivers and the bay. The Nature Conservancy has been working in the Potomac watershed for many, many years, almost since our founding. And we actually were really uh, deeply involved in the creation of the protected areas here at the Potomac Gorge. Since then, we've really evolved to focus on a diversity of strategies to help protect both the watershed that's important for the health of the river and its inhabitants, and also to protect the river itself. And one of the main things we do is some really robust scientific work with partners to identify and to understand how much water the river needs and when those flows are needed to fulfill the life cycle needs of those species that live in that habitat. In a sense, when I think about river ecology, I think about an elaborately choreographed dance where the species know the dance and the, the flows of the river, the naturally variable flows, are the music. And there's this interplay between the species that have evolved and know the dance and, and the music. And our job as conservationists is to get to understand what the score is and how to read the music and to help protect and restore those flows that are important for species to complete their life cycle and to survive and thrive within a functioning aquatic ecosystem. So in addition to trying uh, to get at the fundamental scientific questions of how much water the river needs for ecological health, we're also working to protect and to restore those flows in a way that maintains that water for both people and for nature. The Potomac is my home. It's where I've lived in this watershed for 15 years now. I live in the Rock Creek subbasin that flows to the Potomac, that flows to the Chesapeake, that flows to the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, it's where I live, it's where I get my water, it's where I'm raising my children, and it's a place I'm deeply committed to. Living and working in your backyard is really a very gratifying thing.